Hey guys, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here, and today is the review of the Boost Mobile ZTE Warp 7. Hey guys, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here, and today we're looking at the ZTE Warp 7 by Boost Mobile. I've had this phone a couple weeks now, and I'm happy to say that this is probably one of the best uh, priced lower, or not lower end, but mid-range uh, Android phones that I've actually ever worked with and ZTE of course is the brand here and uh, you know I just want to kind of go over the physical features before I get into anything else all the way around this phone is pretty much a plastic build phone it has sort of what a, a, a silverish trim going all the way around as you can see there and it's not a thin phone to any stretch of the imagination as you can see this is just my little stand by the way so don't even pay attention to that in the background uh, but over here on the side you have your volume rockers up and down and the power button is actually below it. Usually it's the other way around or I'm used to having the volume rockers like on the left side actually and the power button on top. But since this phone is so big, uh, I guess, you know, ZT just decided, hey, let's put everything in close proximity with each other. In the back, of course, you have a black matte finish on the, you know, on the back of the phone. Easily removable back cover, by the way. Speaker grill right here. Nice little ZTE logo that you can see reflects. A 13 megapixel camera in the back, and we'll go over that more in a bit of more detail later on. And of course, your LED flash here. Up top is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your noise canceling microphone. There's really nothing on the left hand side over here. And on the bottom is actually, an, and this is big for me actually, this is my first USB type C uh, phone, so I'll get more into detail with that. Let's go ahead and get the back removed here just so you guys can kind of take a look at what to look for in the back here. So let me just kind of hold that up there. Right here is your stand. It's going to be a 3000 milliamp battery. So this phone is actually going to get you through a full day as long as you guys aren't constantly streaming a movie or movies, videos or, you know, music, etc. like that. Basically, you'll you'll be able to use this phone for a couple days on just one charge. And the cool thing about it is it has fast charging also. Since it's USB Type-C, this phone charges fully charged within at least an hour. So I, you gotta give it that. But here we go right here. Of course, you can see that it has uh, the SIM card for it. Of course, this is a Boost Mobile it's a network. In the back right here where my thumb is, you can see that it has a micro uh, SD card slot. So you can have expandable memory on this. So going back there, that's pretty much that. Let me get let me get this back on for you guys. As you can see here, it should easily snap back. You can hear the little snappies hold, hopefully. There we go. It's kind of tight. Let me get this put back on. So here we go. And right here on the bottom is one of my favorite things. Let's see if it picks it up or not. There you go. You see that? That is the indicator light or the or the notification light and it's one of my favorite things about this phone just because I'm a really big fan of the blue and I'm not too sure why I just kind of like it a lot so let's get into the phone here okay so right here in your unlock screen and it says look you have new highlights from Google Plus I'm just gonna go ahead and clear that out basically that's your notification screen on your lock screen you're gonna get the time right there of course your battery percentage on top uh, your signal if you're connected to Wi-Fi and if you are basically on silent or vibrate and let me just get a better shot of that and of course on the bottom uh, you have your you can uh, basically unlock it just by holding it down like this but if you want you have access to uh, your camera from there and I think this one let's take a look is Google now so let's click that and let's see where it takes us yes the ZT warp 7 I did not ask for Clint Dempsey worth Texas so basically that's your quick search and here is the actual phone on its screen here and right from the get-go you can see that this has a nice clear screen it's a 5.5 inch uh, display and it's one of the bit bigger uh, review phones that I've had as of late usually I I try not to go past 5.2 inches just because but this one is a 720 by 1280 so that's not a full HD screen but as you can see here it has a nice little I have a nice little live background but as you can see here, it is—it's just a nice screen, and you—you you know, you don't really get a lot of noise or graininess to it when you move the phone like this back and forth. So I'm kind of a big fan of the screen. I like it a lot, and I, you know, even though the PPI, which is pixels per inch, 
is only about 267. It's actually under 300. This is still a nice looking phone. Whether you have a live background or you have just a nice HD wallpaper, you're gonna get you're gonna get a crisp screen no matter what, considering the size. So going from that, you know, aside from the screen, it has. Uh, Gorilla, Gra Gorilla Glass 3, so you know I'm not too sure, I'm not up to date on, on the types of glasses that they use for smartphones anymore, but I hear they're actually pretty good, so so can't complain there. And let's go forward, let's, let's take a look which version of Android this has out of the box here. And let's go to the About Phone, and, and, it's, and it is running Android 6.0.1, so not the newest version of Android, of course you're not going to get you're not going to get basically, you know, Android 7.0 out of the box, but you know, for $49,999, a prepaid phone that's running Marshmallow, which is still very relevant in the Android market. I think most of the phones, most of the, you know, even phones like the GS7, et cetera, like that are still some, somewhat running uh, Marshmallow on it. So to, to have this latest build of Android is impressive in my opinion. And let's go from there. So, so. Out of the box though, this phone does not have a lot of bloatware, like usually you'll see a lot of Boost Mobile stuff, etc. like that, but I haven't, I haven't gotten any of that. Again, I have not activated this phone though, so you know, once you activate the phone, I don't know if this actually uh, you know, downloads bloatware or downloads Boost version of bloatware basically, you know, uh, like Boost Zone app, etc. like that, and you can actually see it there in the background on that box. But, you know, this, this phone it just comes with your standard Google apps. You know, I've downloaded like Facebook, Snapchat, etc. It comes pre-installed with Lookout and it has its own messaging. I usually use Hangouts uh, with this, but you know, it just depends and etc. like that. So going back, let's take a look here. Let's go, let's talk about phone specs now. Okay, so this phone out of the box is running a quad-core processor, a, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 to be exact and it's clocked at 1.2 gigahertz and it's running a 64-bit chipset which is a lot better than those old 32-bit so pretty much most new phones are running this new chipset and it makes the phone seem more buttery a lot more smooth etc like that so like let's say if I'm using Facebook or whatever you know you're gonna get more of a buttery feel I guess when you're actually using the app now keep in mind here I'm gonna go I'm going to use uh, Go to pages and go to my budget tech review page just so you can see so so you know using apps like this you know you're not gonna get you know hard, really good fluid uh usage on a phone like this basically because it's only it's not running it's not even running two gigs of ram it's running it's running about what well, it is it's running two gigs of ram but you're not i'm not too sure how to explain it but it's not as buttery as it should be for a phone that has two gigs of RAM, okay? And as you can see there, like, the startup, it's not as quickly as it probably should be. But if you guys aren't following me on Facebook, follow Budget Tech Reviews, please. And, you know, you can see more vi videos like this on that page. But going back, you know, aside from the two gigs of RAM, this phone does have 16 gigs of internal memory, 16 gigabytes to be exact. And let's go check that out. Let's go to storage right here. As you can see here, so use 16 gigs and 923 is usable. So, you know, if you're someone that likes to play games, etc., like that, or if you download a heavy amount of apps, you're going to basically uh, not not have a lot of internal memory for it. Usually, basically, the standard now is 32 gigabytes of internal memory, but you know, you can work with it since it does have a micro SD card, so you can actually probably most likely transfer apps to the SD card and you know keep your music on it etc like that so that's a big thing I think that's a huge thing so going from there <clears throat> excuse me have a little bit of uh, a dry throat here so let's talk about we're gonna talk about uh, other features of this phone and excuse me I got a little distracted I had a notification pop up on my computer screen but basically you know this phone I've had it for about a week and a half now and I cannot complain about it whatsoever. I think that this phone is really great for the price. I think for a $49,999 budget phone, anyone that, you know, anyone that's basically either, you know, trying to get it, you know, either out of iOS or, you know, someone that has a cheaper phone than this, you know, uh, decides to switch off, you know, $49,99 is not going to break the bank. 
uh, but just so you guys know, I mean, it's not gonna kill you uh, to, to, to buy this one, basically. So let's go to the notification bar really quick. As you can see here, you have the, of course, you have the auto brightness that you can turn on and off. Uh, me, I usually have it set really low because my eyes uh, start to strain after a while. You have your Wi-Fi, your auto-rotate, your location, your vibrate, your sync. You have your flashlight, so I can actually turn on the, the flashlight just from there. And of course, you have airplane mode. I do not want to put it in airplane mode, so let me turn that off. Uh, there you go. And you can see that I'm already getting notification. Uh, but again, this phone has no service. And again, you can, you can add widgets just by holding this down. As you can see here, I can actually change the wallpaper uh, just from here. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna click that just so you guys can kind of see uh, how this looks with just the standard wallpaper. And again, it's a pretty nice crisp screen, and that's because I don't even have it all the way up. So and again, you know, Edinburgh is where I'm currently residing. You can change the themes here. You know, you have Android, you have fancy, and then you have sports theme. You can there there's a variety of different widgets that you can use also. You click this, you know, you have all the widgets down here basically, all your standard Google widgets and uh, ZTE's own widgets as well. So of course, you know, me, you don't see I have a lot of widgets here. And then from there you can have effects, you can have the different type of scrolling throughout the screens, which is pretty cool. Right now I just have the cube effect, but I can actually change that. So I can actually go from like this, from this to this. So as you can, it'll, it'll actually show you uh, the example. This is usually the one I have though right here but I like to have the cube effect that's the one that's my favorite so we'll leave it at that but again guys you know two gigs of RAM uh, 1.4 gigahertz processor or excuse me a 1.2 it's running Bluetooth 4.0 also etc like that so uh, keep an eye on the second review video guys I'm actually going to uh, Basically, I'm going to post up a video on how good the camera is on this, etc. like that. I'm going to run a camera test and video test on the front and rear camera. But basically, the front camera has a 5 megapixel camera and the rear has a 13 megapixel camera. So I'm going to do a, an extensive test on those and actually show you that in a video up ahead later on. So guys, this is my first review video of the ZTE Warp 7. So if you guys like, please give a thumbs up, please share. And as always, thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.